Hello guys, it's Shazib Afridi from Game Logics, and this is part 30 of our uh, tutorial series how to make Ludo game in Unity. Okay, so in the previous tutorial, I had told you that in uh, this tutorial, in the upcoming tutorial, I will test the game, and before that, I have to write some code. Okay, and there is nothing new in today's code, basically, it's the same code that. Uh, I have written for this red uh, for uh, for the red player and um, specifically for red player one. Okay, so I am going to repeat this code, the same code for uh, red player two and for red player three as well and for red player four. Okay, so it's uh, okay. So let's okay so let's so let's get over with this so let's do our thing let's do it So it's going to be our red player one border, red player two. Okay, so it's going to be, and this is going to be our red player three, and three. Yeah, this one is red. No, it's it's the first one. And this one should be three as well. Okay, so and it's going to be the fourth one. Okay, so yeah, I have told you many times that we're gonna have to repeat the same code again and again, so yeah. It is what it is, okay. So, but it's not that difficult, okay. So, let's save it. Let's save it and let's do the same thing for the green player, okay. So, yeah, let's do the same thing for the green one. Let's Copy this. It should be green and it should be your yeah, green. It should be green as well. Okay, and this should be green as well, this one too. Okay, so this should be green. And green and green, 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 everywhere, okay. So it's done now, let's copy this and let's paste it three more times. So it's done. Let's change this to two, and let's change this one to two as well. Okay, so in it's going to be two as well. Mm. This one, two. And it's going to be three, three, and no, <clears throat> okay, it's going to be three and three and three 
in 3. Okay, and the last one should be 4. And 4 and 4 and 4. Okay, so it's going to be 4. Okay. And this one. Okay, so we are done with this stuff. Okay, and let me check something. Yeah, let's check that. Um, have I? Yes, it was saving all work. Okay, so yep. Okay, so I think that is the time to check our game. They are supposed to so now we should be able to play our game to some extent, okay? Oh. See, we are able to play our game, bros. Wow, yeah, it's amazing. Okay, so we can so the two players game is uh, playable up to some extent okay so yeah that's great that's great yeah let's move this one yeah so you can see the game is perfect okay it can be to some extent but yeah we can't uh, hit the opponents and the things like that but yeah some mm, still there are lots of things that needs to be done okay so yeah but up to this point we can play the two player game and it's a good news uh, we haven't broken anything and uh, the source code is working perfectly fine Okay, so yeah, it's a win win. Okay, so you can see, you can see. Okay, we can play the game. And it's fine, okay. So, yeah. Hmm. Now we can see. Okay. But yeah, we can't hit the enemy player. Okay. See? It's because we haven't written the code for that. Okay. So, yep. This is it. So the game is working perfectly fine and, uh, and you saw it, okay, things are working the way they are supposed to and I think that uh, uh, this was enough for this uh, tutorial because uh, we have done uh, some important work, okay, so the two players game is uh, working uh, not completely, okay, it's not a complete game okay yeah but but up to some extent you can play the game okay so this is it for this tutorial guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for notifications and your support means um, everything for me don't forget to support me and see you guys take care of yourselves see you in the next tutorial